Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, so you know what that means. We are looking ahead into later today about some Thursday flipping investments. Again, a very popular way to trade on this game is buying some cards before Thursday with Weekend League and Division Rivals rewards. Selling those cards afterwards as people go and buy teams for the upcoming Weekend League to play with. And that is going to be the point of our investing today because... This is an interesting Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with a promo ending, which today on Wednesday, once to watch is done. It is over with. These cards are going out of packs. Uh, we'll talk about that for a second, but it looks like there could be a new promo coming on Friday as well, which would be Ultimate Stream. We'll touch on that and what this means for our Thursday flipping time period. But first of all, with rewards this week in terms of rivals and foot champs, this is the first week the first week of the year that we will have foot champions rewards available in the game it's only been rivals rewards for the past two weeks now we have foot champs that's going to bring a lot of tradable packs a lot of team of the week packs the elite and plus packs there are top 200 now so 200 players in the world are going to get those uh 11 team of the week player packs so that's going to be very interesting or inform supply it's going to be interesting to watch team of the week four cards that are released today during rewards, we'll, we'll uh, keep watch on that for sure. But that's going to put even more coins on the game with all those packs released. So it'll be interesting to see how cards move up. I do expect more of a market rise today with Foot Champions rewards. The only thing that I could see stopping a market rise would be just the, the hype. If there was a loading screen or some sort of information about a new promo coming on this Friday, which could be ultimate scream. So we'll talk about that as well at some point in this video. But a lot of tradable packs come this week. As before, it was Division Rivals. The Rivals rewards this week are interesting because uh, I think this could even bring more demand to the market on Thursday after rewards because people have to play all their Rivals games if they're really trying to maximize their Rivals rank. Like I played uh, my Foot Champs this weekend and I'm in rank three right now in my division and because of only getting 400 points per game, uh, Rivals points in each Foot Champions game. So a lot of people, what they're doing is after Thursday's set of rewards, they're playing all their division rivals matches on Thursday, trying to get as many games in as they can before they start their weekend league on Friday. So that way they're getting the most possible uh, rivals points and get the best possible rewards uh, that week. So there's more demand for cards on Thursday as well, as people will probably buy their weekend league teams, start playing with them on Thursday to play rivals and to grind rivals, especially elite level players and then that demand will stay constant into Friday as well. So that could actually be better for Thursday flipping this week if people are going out and knowing they have to cram their division rivals games in on Thursday after rewards in order to get the highest rival score. So I think that actually helps us and could and could lead to more of a market rise today with stuff that is going on in the game. So what can we look to invest in this week? Now, obviously, we always look at cards that are going to possibly be, be in Team of the week number four. Now I'm recording this beforehand. So obviously we don't actually know what team of the week is yet, but there's actually a, one card right now that has been leaked to be in team of the week. This is a prediction by Foothead and we'll cover the lead card in a second, but Werner, Rashford, possibly Mbappe, Muller, Lozano, are, Oblak are kind of headlining this week. This team of the week looks decent, right? With Werner and Rashford kind of being the top two. But what we actually just learned a little bit ago was Florenzi is going to be in team of the week number four. So that kind of makes us a little bit interesting, a little bit worried maybe about Mbappe. But Florenzi's in game stats on his card were actually updated. So um, his card before had 83 acceleration and 79 sprint speed to make 81 pace. But if we go over here in foot and check out his actual ones to watch item, the pace has already been upgraded. Uh, to 86 acceleration and to 81 sprint speed. So it looks like he either got a plus two or plus three on pace, and he is going to be in the team of the week four that is out today. So whatever team of the week is today, we can actually start to possibly invest in some link investments for those cards because people are going to be getting red versions of team of the week four. And that's why we haven't done link investing to the current team of the week yet because they haven't got the red picks yet. And that's a lot of people will get red picks today. And if Werner is in, if Rashford is in, uh, those would be the top two cards that I think people might want to link invest to. Or maybe if Lozano gets a left wing card, maybe you see somebody like Mertens go up um, or some other Serie A midfielders. That could be something that's interesting. And it depends on some of the mid-tier informs in the team of the week as well because those are the players that are get packed the most. So if there's a really overpowered player that's like 82 rated or 83 rated, links to those types of cards 
could be very good because they'll get packed a decent amount from red. So that's the first thing that we can look at doing today. But in total, what I'm really liking today in terms of investments and what we really need to watch for in terms of what's going to happen on the market is basically the drop after 6 p.m. This is where we've been buying a lot of our weekend league flips in the past two weeks or Thursday flips that we call them. This is when we've been buying, right? Because the content comes out on Wednesday, whether it's good or whether it's not much content at all. We usually see a bit of a sell off heading into weekend league rewards and the division rivals rewards time period. So I would expect to see maybe not this crazy of a drop off. This is a big drop off today. 69 points all the way down to 64. We hit right there. So that's a pretty big drop off on the index 100. We go index gold. We dropped from 54 points today down to 49. So maybe not this drastic of a drop um, today on Wednesday. It just depends on the content, of course. But there should be a little bit of a sell-off heading into rewards. And the things that I want you to keep your eye on the most is super meta cards, very popular cards, which we talk about all the time. And of course, informs. Team of the week, one, team of the weeks one, two, and three, and even some ones to watch cards. I think are probably going to be sold off a little bit tomorrow and will have potential to rise back up after the division rivals rewards time period. So guys like Jamie Vardy, right? This is a obviously when you have a Rashford inform that possibly is coming to the market, would a Jamie Vardy be affected? Probably not that much because Vardy's inform is 180k. That Rashford gold card is already more expensive than that. He's already like 200,000 coins. So I would expect a card like Rashford's inform to be somewhere around 500k. Um, and then this obviously is in a way different price range. So a lot of these cards, I don't think should be affected too much by team of the week. Lozano could be if he gets a second inform. I honestly like Bruno because he's a very good card in this game and he's going to get links to possible Rashford inform as well if he does get in. But watch these out of packs team of the weeks. These are the most, these are the safest cards that you can flip uh, for a third. I love flipping out of pack specials each week during a Thursday flipping time frame because these are cards that don't have any supply and they just purely have demand from people that want them to build out their weekend league teams. And as people get more and more coins, they're going to be able to afford more and more of these players in game. So obviously you have players like St. Maximin, Lewandowski, Holland, uh, Teo Hernandez, even Courtois, I would expect to probably rise up with rewards. Renato Sanchez is one of the most hyped up players right now. He's gone up from about 55,000 coins to almost 100K, and he could probably keep going further because a lot of people are interested in this card. And even Team of the Week 3 cards that are just going out of packs today, I think Milinkovic Savage is pretty low. If Partey is down towards 100K, I like that. Walker is now low today. Ramos is very low. Firmino is pretty good as well. So some of these cards could rise a decent amount out of packs tomorrow after rewards. Uh, or on Thursday after rewards. But if you don't want to invest in informs or if these are kind of too expensive for you, um, some of the popular players are going to be great to invest in as well. Guys like Sun, very meta weekly players. Tellez will be a great one. Even guys like Allen, Lucas. The way to tell that a card is very meta and that is a card that's going to be jumping up in price a decent amount with rewards is to check their daily graphs, right? We had a lot of supply with squad battle rewards. We saw a really nice bounce back on that morning of people that invested and just bought teams on Sunday night, Monday morning after the the, in the supply of squad battle rewards. So guys like Lucas, I would be a fan of probably getting, you know, a little bit of pack supply from weekend league rewards. Of course, the higher rated you go, the better here because they're not going to get packed as much. A guy like Pugba, I'd be a huge fan of, right? Links to the new Rashford. If people are doing Bruno, Rashford, and, or sorry, yes, Rashford, Bruno, and Pogba in a team. This guy was 180K today in the panic selling, right? He went down to 180. He went back to 199, almost 200K, and he's now at 186. But look at this rebound that he had from Sunday to Monday too. Uh, 180 back up to 200 almost. So this guy, if you see him at like 175 to 180, depending on the panic that selling that we have today, higher rated cards that are meta are gonna do very, very good this week. Now, of course, some of the lower rated ones, maybe like a Holland or a Bale um, or a Rodrigo, these guys are going to be back in packs, especially um, like a Rodrigo or somebody who is out of packs for Team of the Week too. Just be careful with those, right? Because they're still low rated. People might be moving on from them. Doesn't mean that they might get packed a little bit at Division Rivals Rewards and at Squad Battle Rewards, go down and then rebound back up. That's very possible too. But I like the higher rated cards because you can buy them beforehand, feel a lot better about it. 
and just watch your card rise over time. Even Bruno's gold card, I would feel pretty good about. Uh, and ben Yedder, possibly. Um, Semedo is a very popular right back. He's been out of packs, so I'm a little bit iffy on that one. Van Dyke probably goes up this week. Um, you know, Salah probably goes up this week. Langley, Griezmann, De Young. You know, very Aubameyang definitely will go up this week. Aubameyang's gotten some hype this week as well um, as a very OP player. But anything that you can buy that is meta, that is popular, and it's Premier League or it's French, it's Brazilian, stuff like that, I think those cards are going to be rising up after rewards um, in the, you know, the first couple or so hours after awards. So let's use an example, right? Let's say you buy a Wijnaldum, right? Meta Premier League midfielder. Right now, this dude is like 70,000 coins. He was 65K earlier today. Uh, and he's kind of rebounded back up a little bit. All the pack supply. Well, let's say that at rewards or before rewards, you see this guy is back in like in the mid or lower 60s. You're like, man, that's a great buy. This is a very popular midfielder in the Prem. He's probably going to rise back up. Now, what I would expect to see is a rise on a card like this, probably in like the, you know, four to six hour time period after weekend league rewards. But what you might want to do just to be safe is you might want to sell your cards before the content drop, right? So that is 6 p.m. UK, whatever the whatever time the content drop is for you on Thursday, you might want to sell these flips before we get to that content drop, just in case, because Thursdays is the most popular day for a promo screen to come out on if they're going to be dropping a new promo on Friday, which could be ultimate scream. Some people are saying so if that promo is going to come, I would expect a screen to be released on the loading screen on Thursday. And in that case, you would want to have all your investments most likely shipped out by that time frame. You want to take the coins. And what you might see because of that is a lot of people like to Thursday flip, right? So the highest prices, these guys might boom up. So like Wijnaldum, let's say he goes down to 65K tomorrow or today. Okay, 65K before rewards. He goes up to 70K. He goes to like 73,000 coins. But then right before 6 p.m., he drops back down to 70. You, you might see kind of the peak on these cards prices one or two hours before the content drop. Because people like us that are investing in these cards... Um, they might not rise all the way into the content drop because people like to sell cards before uh, the new content comes anyway, just in case. But you might see these cards actually peak in price a couple hours beforehand, before kind of that last minute just selling to get the cards out before the new content comes happens. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. But uh, I mean, I don't have any problem with Wijnaldum this week. I really like the out of packs cards. I even like this Lozano card, man. Big fan of this Lozano. Even if he does get into team of the week, he could be, his new team of the week card today would be a left wing. So whether this guy gets in or whether he doesn't get into team of the week, he was 72,000 coins this morning. He's already up 10,000 coins. It's just, it's just the pace of this guy. This is a, like FIFA 18 vibes on this Lozano for like super sub, right? Because he's got the pace. He's kind of like the Adama type player, just pacey down the wing, beating the center backs. And since we don't have a lot of pacey center backs yet in this game, this guy is very OP and he's, he's very, very good. So... If this guy gets a left wing in form tomorrow and he drops down in price, that's going to make me want to buy this card more because it's a position change. It's a different side of the pitch. He'll retain some value there. And if he doesn't get an in form, he's probably going to bounce right back up anyway. So just kind of watch this card like that. Um, but I am, again, a fan of uh, Team of the Week cards because they're out of packs. Even some ones to watches, right? Now, you could, you could do like a double investment here with the ones to watch because some of these cards are very popular and they'll be they will go up for weekend league teams a guy like uh, Tellez would probably go up possibly a guy like Allen who's very low right now um Bale probably um maybe Ziyech a little bit and then from once to watch team two some of these guys got really low today right Rodrigo at 130 Sané's back up a little bit he was at 240 average is at 300k flat Semedo is pretty good uh very very usable player. So maybe some of these cards you look at and watch on Wednesday as well and see if they kind of dip because this could be like a Thursday flip investment that if it doesn't go up that much, you could just hold on to it because they will have games on the weekend. Um, and if you're okay with maybe taking on a little bit of risk with the, the screen promo coming, um, these guys, a lot of them play on the weekend on Saturday or something. So there are big games. There's El Clasico is this weekend, right? And the biggest game for ones to watch is this weekend. We'll talk about it later this week is Manchester United versus Chelsea. Five ones to watch cards are playing in one game. That's going to be crazy to watch. Van de Beek, Tellez, Havertz, Werner, and Ziyech all on the same game 
at the same time. So that'll be pretty interesting. But it's kind of, I hate to say a normal week of Thursday flipping because it seems like we talk about this, buying the same cards every week. Take notice every time you do Thursday flips, right? Take notice of the cards that rise weekly because especially early on, the guys that you see kind of in the top tier list here are the most popular players on Footbin. Those are going to be the players that rise up uh, the most on any given rewards day or after rewards because those are the cards people are buying for their clubs and their teams because they're searching them up on Footbin the most. Either they want to know the price or uh, they want to, uh, you know, they pack this card say, hey, I'm going to sell it or whatever. But watch some of these cards that are on this most popular page that are the higher rated very popular cards. If you want to buy a team, this is not a bad time to buy a team as well at the before awards time when everybody is selling off. So make sure you watch some of that. Now, one thing I do want to point out is some of these UCL cards, right? Like Neymar is an example of they've these Champions League cards are now on the market and they're getting supplied, right? A lot of them are close, right? This UCL Mbappe is one point or sorry, Neymar is 1.08 and the gold is 1.05. These UCL cards do not have a lot of supply, yet they look a lot better and more appealing because it's a new color, right? It's a new color to the squad that you can add. Watch some of these UCL cards today, especially a guy like Fabinho, who is somebody that I like to commonly Thursday flip with. Uh, Fabinho is 29,000 coins, right? Looks like he was 20, he was 28K earlier today. So if I saw this guy, maybe like 25K, maybe tonight before, uh, rewards that might be a bit too low but uh if the blue car is right there at the same price don't be scared of buying one of the blue cards instead of the gold because the blue card's more rare and we saw i was watching uh nick run the foot market stream today and right when these ucl blue cards came out this neymar the gold neymar was like 1.06 1.07 mil and this blue neymar was selling at 150,000 coins more in the first couple minutes just because it was a different color and because it has the cool Champions League design in the background. So just kind of watch that today. If you have the chance to buy a Champions League card at the same price as a gold card, um, that is pro pro could possibly get you a little bit more profit because that card was technically more rare at the moment because it's been in packs for a less amount of time. And uh, it's got a cool new color and people like new and shiny things inside a foot. So just kind of keep that in mind. And as well, when you're trading with these cards and you're buying some investments, right? Like, let's look at Fabinho again. Let's say Fabinho is one of your targets. What you really want to try to do is get him with a chem style, a shadow chemistry style, or maybe like an engine or a, a midfielder like Fabinho um, or, you know, or a hunter for an attacker. Like that can add a little bit, a couple thousand extra coins of extra value onto your card. And people buy cards with chem styles all the time for Thursday flips, and they buy cards for their teams all the time with the chem styles attached. So... That could be a really good investment as well as making sure when you're buying these cards every single week that you're buying the defenders with shadows, the attackers with hunters, or maybe a, maybe a center attack in mid with a catalyst or something like that. Just something to keep in mind on the weekly as you are doing, doing Thursday flips. So again, I've got some cards right now that I've just been slowly flipping. I bought some more at 50K. He's about 55. Dobinson's I bought at 27 to 28. Got a couple of sales at 33. A little bit of chemistry style flipping. And I have a bunch of these that I'm try trying to sell on Wednesday in the morning. Uh, one interesting thing I have was some of these UCL cards have their old price ranges. Wijnaldum is one of them. Fred is another one. I was able to snipe a Fred tonight. His gold card's 20K. Wijnaldum's, uh, I think is extinct at like 20K. And his gold card is at obviously 69, 70,000 coins that we were looking at. So if these aren't updated at rewards, one thing you could do is actually snipe these extinct cards because of their price ranges for Champions League items because they technically should be the same price as their gold. So uh, again, like a guy like Wijnaldum, I think according to Footbin, his special item is extinct and that price range is at like 20K or something. So if there's a few players that are out there like that, that could be something that you do because they will get packed during rewards and you might be able to pick up on some snipes with those cards. So again, what I would say is out of packs informs or out of packs ones to watch is would be your first priority. Um, and then second priority would be very high rated meta golds, Premier League, Brazilian, French, you know which ones to go for based on those popular lists on Footbin. Uh, and if, especially if stuff is out of packs too, that could be something to watch like Rashford, maybe uh, Werner if he gets a team of the week card, stuff like that. Uh, and then of course, monitoring the sell time frame right before 6 p.m. UK just in case there's a promo screen that would come out for a screen promo um, in 
this game on Thursday. So I like putting these videos out kind of like a day ahead just so that you know what to look for and you can watch the market all day on Wednesday and kind of get those movements and get those buys kind of just thought ahead in your brain. And of course, if there is Wednesday content today that affects the market a lot, you know, maybe this change, if there's a loading screen today, would the market still rise after Thursday? Probably a little bit, but you would see a bigger drop and more potential to find some better deals on out of packs informs cards or something like that. So the content today on Wednesday will dictate some things, but I don't, I'm not expecting too much, just a bit of a sell-off before awards and then a rise afterwards for the rivals and the weekend league grind that people are about to partake in for week two. So if you enjoyed this video today and it helped you out at all, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.